In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to sew this beautiful input corset with a bass waistline, a yoke, and a modesty panel. It is detailed and beginner friendly. I'll also be showing you how to insert a bone into the dress to avoid bending when the dress is being worn. You'll be learning all this and lots more in this tutorial. So if this is your first time on the channel, please click on the subscribe button. This helps the channel grow and also give you access to our other tutorials because we post in tutorials every week. And our tutorials are beginner friendly and very easy to understand. In the previous tutorial, I shared how to draft the corset I'll be sewing today. So if I had to watch the tutorial, I'll be linking it to this video and I'll also be dropping it in the description box for you to go and check it out. So now we are going to go into today's tutorial proper. So yeah, I went ahead to cut out my fabric from the pattern that was drafted and I went ahead to add a swing allowance of 0.5 inch all around like so. But on the hemline, I added a swing allowance of 1.5 inch on the hemline. I also went ahead to attach an interface to the corset to both the lining and the make fabrics to give it more structure. And here I have the yoke of the corset. I added a swing allowance of 0.5 inch on the shoulder and also on this part of the corset. So this is what the front block of the corset is going to look like. So here I have the back of the corset. I also went ahead to do the same thing. Here I have the yoke and the main bodies of the back of the corset. I went ahead to add a swing allowance of 0.5 inch all around like this. But on the hemline, I went ahead to add a swing allowance of 1.5 inch on the hemline of the corset. So here I have the front block of the corset. The first thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to remove my pattern paper from the corset like you see me doing in the video. After doing that, I'm going to go ahead to arrange it like you see me doing in the video. So when arranging it, make sure you keep your pattern paper in place so you don't mix up the sides. So after arranging your front block, this is what you are going to be having. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to join the sides together. So I'm going to go ahead to join the sides together and I'll be doing the same thing for the lining. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. So after I was done joining the sides together, this is what it is going to look like. So this is what the front block of the corset is going to look like once you're done joining the sides together. I also went ahead to open up the seams and I gave it a good press. And I did the same thing for the lining I'll be attaching to the corset also. So I'm using the same fabric for the main facing and also for the lining. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to attach my boning to the corset. And I'll be using two types of boning. The sewable boning and the plastic boning. So I'm going to be using the sewable boning to create a boning channel on the inner part of the corset like so. And I'll be sewing it to the same area like this. I'm going to go ahead to sew it to the same area like so. And I'll be placing one on the center of the corset like this. So I'm going to go by my sewing machine to quickly do that. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. So after I was done creating my channel using the sewable boning, this is what it is going to look like once I was done doing that. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to insert this plastic boning into the channel I just created. So this is a smaller bone. It's going to pass through the channel I just created. But before then, I'll be covering my seam using this shining bias you see like this. So I'm going to go ahead to cover the seam using the shiny bias. After covering the seams, I'll go ahead to insert the plastic boning into the boning channel. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. So before inserting your boning to your garment, make sure you iron it to make it straight to avoid bending when the dress is being worn. So after I was done placing the shining bias on the corset, this is what it is going to look like. I've also gone ahead to insert the plastic boning to the corset and this is what I have. So this two boning is going to give the corset more structure when the dress is being worn. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to move over to the curves of the corset. So here I have the curves of the corset. I also went ahead to attach an interface to the curves of the corset also. Here I have the lace and my satin together. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to attach my lace to the curve of the corset. I'm going to go on my sewing machine to stitch the lace to one part of the curve like so. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. After I was done stitching my lace to the satin, this is what I have. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to join the curves together. And in doing that, I'm going to go ahead to take one from this side and I'll attach it to the other side. So make sure you mark the curves so you don't interchange them. So I'm going to go by my sewing machine to join these two curves together like so. I'm going to stitch from the top down to the bottom of the curves like this. And I'll be doing the same thing for this other side and also for the lining. 
So I'm going to go on my sewing machine to quickly do that. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. After I was done doing the cups, this is what it is going to look like. So here I have my main fabric and here I have the lining for the corset. The next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to attach a bra cup to the corset. So these are the bra cup I'll be attaching to the corset and I've gone ahead to take out a dart on the cup like so this is going to give room for the balls to fit in properly. So when creating your darts, all you need to do is to fold your cup into two like so. Then you go ahead to create out your dart from the lower part. You're going to sew at least 3.5 inch upward like this. The next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to place my fabric on the cup like so. Then I'll go ahead to secure it with a hemming gum. So before placing your fabric, first you're going to go ahead to place a hemming gum on it like this. If you don't have a hemming gum, you can go ahead to use or any other clothes gum you have. You place a hemming gum on the cup like so. Then you go ahead to place your fabric on it. Then you secure it with your pressing iron. So before securing it with your pressing iron, make sure that the cup fits into this other fabric cup properly before securing it with your pressing iron. I'm going to go ahead to quickly secure the cup. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. After I was done placing the bra cup into the cups, this is what I have. And this is what the other one is going to look like. Make sure you leave a swing allowance of 0.5 inch all around the cup for stitching the cup to the main bodies of the corset. The next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to attach the cup to the main bodies of the corset. So you're going to start from the midpoint of the corset like so you place it. Then you go ahead to pin it all the way around. So make sure that the cup is aligning with the space you have on your main bodies. So I'm going to go ahead to pin it all around like you see me doing in the video. So after pinning it all around, this is what it is going to look like. As you can see, the cup fits into the space properly. If yours is not fitting into the space properly, you can go ahead to trim it or you create some notches to make sure that it fits in. So I'm going to go on my sewing machine now to stitch the cup to the main bodies and I'll be doing the same thing for the other side and also for the lining. After I was done fixing the cups to the main bodies of the corset, this is what it is going to look like. As you can see, it came out really nice and it's looking really beautiful already. And this is what the inner part of the corset is going to look like. I also went ahead to do the same thing for the lining I'll be attaching to the corset. And this is what the lining is going to look like. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to work on the yoke of the corset. So first, I'm going to go ahead to remove my pattern paper from the yoke of the corset like you see me doing in the video. So here I have two pieces. I have the main face and the lining. I'm going to go over my sewing machine to stitch the neck area of the yoke like so. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. So after I was done stitching the neckline for the yoke, I turned it over to the good face, gave it a good press, and this is what it's going to look like. So make sure you trim out all your sewing allowances so that the neck area looks very neat. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to join the yoke to the main bodice like this. So I'm going to go ahead to place the yoke on the main bodice like so. After placing the yoke on the main bodice, I'll place my lining on it like this, making sure that the good face on my lining is facing my the good face of the fabric. After doing this, I'm going to go over my sewing machine to stitch the three pieces together. So when stitching, make sure you are adjusting the yoke so that it fits in properly. So I'm going to go by my sewing machine to quickly join the three pieces together. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. So after I was done fixing the yoke to the corset, this is what we have. This is what it looks like after I was done doing that. As you can see, it's looking very neat and it came out really nice. And this is what the inner part of the corset is going to look like. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to move over to the back. So here I have the back block of the corset. The first thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to join one and two together. And in doing that, I'm going to go ahead to take one piece from this part and I'll take one piece for this other side. After which I'll turn it over, making sure the good face are facing each other. Then I will stitch the two pieces together like so. So I'll be doing the same thing for, for the other ones also because I'm using the same fabric for the lining and also for the main facing. So I'm going to go over my sewing machine to quickly join them together then i'll come back to show you what to do next so after i was done stitching the two pieces together this is what it is going to look like i also went ahead to do the same thing for the lining piece and this is what the lining is going to look like the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do now is to create a boning channel for the back block of the corset so i'm going to be creating a boning channel one inch away from the center and i'll be placing the other boning on this my same on this seam on the back of the corset. 
So first, I'm going to go ahead to measure one inch away from the center back like you see me doing in the video. After taking the measurements, I'll connect the point together with my ruler like so. So this part I'm marking is going to be serving as one of the boning channel. This is going to help keep the loop area in place when the dress is being worn. So I'm going to go ahead to sew my sewable boning on it first. I'll be creating a boning channel using my sewable boning on it first. After creating the boning channel with my sewable boning, I'm going to go ahead to insert this plastic boning into it. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. So after I was done placing my boning, this is what it is going to look like. So make sure that your boning is 0.5 inch away from the hemline and also from the neckline. This is what the boning is going to look like once you're done fixing it. Next, I'm going to go ahead to do now is to attack the loops to the back of the corset. And in doing that, I'm going ahead to make this strip that I'll be using to create the loop. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to mark the point where I want the loops to be. So I'll be coming down by 0.5 inch from the neckline. Then I'll go ahead to mark where I'll be fixing the loop. So the first loop is going to be at this point. Then the other ones are going to be 1.5 inch apart from each other. So I'm going to go ahead to mark the points like you see me doing in the video. So after I was done marking the points, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to repeat the same thing on this other side. So I'm going to be repeating the same thing on this other side later on to make sure that the loops are aligning. Next, I'm going to go ahead to place this strip on it like so. So the width of the loop I'm going to be creating is going to be 2 inch on fold like so. So I'm going to go ahead to measure 2 inch. I'll fold the strip into 2 and measure 2 inch like this. After measuring the 2 inch, I'll go ahead to cut it out like you see me doing in the video. Then I'll fold it into 2 and place it on the part I just marked like this. Then I'll go over my sewing machine to stitch on it. I'll be doing the same thing for the other point I mark for the loop. Then I'll come back to show you what it looks like. So after I was done fixing the loop to the back of the corset, this is what it is going to look like. Make sure the loop on both sides of the back are aligning. The next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to attach the yoke and the modesty panel to the back of the corset. I'm going ahead to finish up the neckline and the keyhole area of the yoke of the corset. I am making and this is what it is going to look like and also i'm gonna have to cut out this piece of fabric you see here this is going to be serving as the modesto panel and the width of the fabric is seven inch while the length is one inch shorter than the main back of the corset so this is going to be serving as the back cover because i don't want the back of the corset to be open I want it to be closed but if you want yours to be open you can just simply skip this process so this is what it is going to look like when the corset is being worn i went ahead to close up this part and also the side so i'm going to be placing it on my fabric like so you're going to be having at least 0 0.5 feet on the upper part and also on the lower part the next i'm going to go ahead to do now is to attach the yoke to the back block of the corset so I'm going to go ahead to place the yoke like so on this side of the back. Now I'll be doing the same thing on the other side of the back like you see me doing in the video. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to flip it over like this. Make sure that they are aligning and also make sure that you are placing it 0.5 inch away from the center back of the corset. I'll be doing the same thing on this other side also. So you place it 0.5 inch away from the center block of the corset. The next I want to go ahead to do now is to place the lining. So I want to go ahead to place my lining on it like so. On this part, I'm going to go ahead to attach the modesty panel first. I'm going to be placing it on the back like so. Then I'll go ahead to place the yoke on it like you see me doing in the video. After doing this, I'm going to go ahead to place my lining on it. So make sure that the yoke is 0.5 inch away from the center back. But the modesty panel is going to be aligning with the center back. Then you go ahead to place the lining on the back like so. After doing this, I'm going to go over my sewing machine to close up the chest area and also the center back and the side of the corset. So after I was done fixing the yoke and the modesty panel, this is what it is going to look like. So if you don't want the modesty panel, you can go ahead to do without it. And this is what you will have without the modesty panel. So the next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to join the front block to the back of the corset. And in doing that, I'm going to go ahead to place the front block of the corset on the back like so, making sure that the good fits 
are facing each other. Then I'll go over my same machine to join the shoulder of the corset. After doing that, I'll also go ahead to close up the sides. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. So after doing the front to the back, this is what you're going to be having and this is what I have after I was done joining the front to the back and this is what the inner part of the corset is going to look like. As you can see, we are having a very neat finishing on the inner part of the corset. So this is what you should have once you're done joining the front block to the back block of the corset. The next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to finish up the hem of the corset we are making and in doing that, I'm going to go ahead to use this chip here to hem the lower part of the corset to give it a good finishing so after doing that i'm going to come back to show you what to do next so after i was done finishing up the lower part of the corset this is what it is going to look like so this is what you should have once you're done doing that the next i'm going to go ahead to do now is to work on the skirt parts of the corset this is the pencil skirt i'll be attaching to the lower part of the corset dress we are making i'm going ahead to jab this pencil skirt and it is a dartless pencil skirt with box allocation so if you don't know how to draft this type of pencil skirt i'll be dropping the link to the skirt tutorial in the description box or you can go ahead to check my channel on how to draft a dartless pencil skirt using the both allocation it is very detailed and beginner friendly so i'm going ahead to cut the front and the back so i'll be working on the back block of the skirt first the first thing i'm going to go ahead to do now is to attach a zipper to the center back of the skirt so before attaching the zipper to the center back of the skirt, I'm going to be closing the waist area. From the zipper part, I'm going to be closing the waist area to at least 5 inch into the skirt. So I'll close up this part. After closing up this part, I'm going to go ahead to turn it over. Then I'll fix my zipper. So the other part is going to remain the way it is. It's going to be open. You'll not be closing the waist area totally for the back of the skirt. So I'm going to go ahead to quickly do that. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. So after I was done fixing the zipper to the center back of the skirt, this is what it's going to look like. So I closed up this part while this other part is still open. This is what I was trying to explain earlier on. So you close up from the zipper area to at least 4 inch inward. Then this other part is going to be open. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to join the front block of the skirt to the back block of the skirt. So the front block of the skirt, the waist area is still open, it is not closed. So I'm going to go ahead to join the front block of the skirt to the back block of the skirt. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. So after I was done joining the front to the back of the skirt, this is what I have. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to work on the front block of the skirt because the corset you are making is going to be having a basque waistline and in doing that, the first thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to place my skirt like this making sure that the side seams are meeting. So here I have the front and I'm going to go ahead to draw the basque on the front of the skirt. So first I'm going to go ahead to notch the center front of the skirt then I'll go ahead to measure 3 inch downward like you see me doing in the video so if you want your bust to be deeper you can go ahead to come down by four inch after coming down by three inch i'm going to go ahead to connect the side seam to the point i just marked using the curved part of my ruler like you see me doing in the video after doing the back waist on this side i'm going to go ahead to turn it over to the other side and repeat the same thing So this is what the bass waistline is going to look like. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to place the skirt block on the upper part of the corset. But before that, I'm going to go ahead to locate the midpoint of the skirt like you see me doing in the video. So after locating the midpoint of the skirt, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to bring the upper bodies of the corset we are making. So here I have the upper part of the corset. The first thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to mark my waist area. So I'm placing my tape from the underboss which is 14 inch. I'm going to go ahead to mark my waist which is 17 inch. I'll mark it like so. After marking it, I'll go ahead to draw a straight line from the front to the back of the corset like you see me doing in the video. After drawing the line, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to place the skirt on it like so. So make sure that the side seam of the corset is aligning with the side seam of the skirt. So I'm going to go ahead to secure the skirt on the corset using my pins like you see me doing in the video. So 
So after placing the skirts on the upper parts of the corset, you make sure that you arrange it properly and they align. After securing it with my pink, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to cut out the basque on the skirt part of the corset. So I'm cutting only the skirt part of the corset. I'm not cutting the blouse. So just watch what I'm doing and follow the same process. After cutting it out, this is what it is going to look like. The next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to trace out the basque waistline on the corset like you see me doing in the video. The next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to join the skirt to the inbuilt corset. And in doing that, I'm going to go ahead to place the skirt like so, making sure that the good face are facing each other and the center parts are aligning. Then I'll go over my sewing machine to stitch from the center down to the back like so and i'll be doing the same thing for the other side also so you start stitching from the center to the back after you're done with that you go ahead to stitch from the center to the other side also so i'm going to go over my sewing machine to quickly do that then i'll come back to show you what it looks like so after i was done stitching the skirt to the corset this is what it is going to look like so you just have to take it slow and be careful while doing it and when you get to your boning channel you just keep that part because of the plastic boning that was inserted into it so this is what the back of the corset is going to look like so if it's your first time it will be a little bit difficult if you're not getting it right you can go ahead to loosen it then you start all over again so this is what it is going to look like the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do now is to attach the sleeve to the corset then i'll go ahead to attach the applique then i'll come back to show you the final look of the corset so after i was done placing my applique and the sleeve to the gown this is what the corset dress is going to look like as you can see it came out really nice and very beautiful so if this video was helpful to you please don't forget to drop a like and a comment thank you for watching